I want to show this one really fast. Um, this is another. This is another emotional release technique that I have found so helpful, especially with people who are visual. Okay, so an emotion comes up. Let's say the emotion of shame or guilt comes up. And then I, this is color therapy. This is something that I learned with a hypnotherapy session that I had done for me. And I've implemented it in my foot zones and I have found amazing results. So I told you, well, yeah, in the pregnancy section, I told you about my client who I helped at 37 weeks pregnant. So in that, in that first foot zone that I had with her at 37 weeks, I used this tool, okay? So the emotions that came up, I said, okay, like that emotion that came up, we'll just, we'll just say um, guilt and shame. We'll just use that as an example. Give that a shape and a color. And they would give it a shape and a color, like a shape or a color literally just comes to your mind. It's incredible. And I say, okay, where is that located in your body? And I would have them locate it in their body. And I say, perfect. Okay, so now we're going to talk to this emotion. And we're going to act, and I want you to speak for this emotion and not for yourself. So then I would say, okay, like, guilt and shame, why are you there? And it's a semi-hypnotic state, but I always want them to know that they have permission to come out of it whenever they want and that they are free to do so. But they usually answer and what they come, what comes out is usually not what you would expect. It's so crazy, but it's awesome. Like one time that I was doing this with somebody and they're like, oh, I want to, I want to stop them. I want to protect them. I want to, and it's like they give, almost give a desire or... They won't let me go. And it's interesting. I say, okay, thank you. And and why? what purpose are you serving is another question that I will ask this emotion. And then what I will do is I'll say, okay, okay, Karen, I want you to take that emotion of shame and guilt, take it out of your body. There is an imaginary trash can in front of you. I want you to put it in that trash can and then light a match and let it burn. And sometimes I'll say, like, have it go to the core of the earth. I really just use my imagination of what works really well with the client. This is really great to do with kids as well. And then they have, they have full control for releasing this emotion. So they take the emotion and they put it in the trash can. And they pull it out. And then I say, what emotion do you want to replace this with? And they'll say something like peace, happiness, joy, confidence. And I say, okay, perfect. Now give this emotion a shape and a color. What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Let's give it all the senses. And then I say, okay, like, so that object is right in front of you. I want you to take it. I want you to put it where it needs to go in your body. And let it absorb into you so that it just spreads through the rest of your body. And I have them visualize this. So they're usually closing their eyes when they do this. And they feel so much better. I love this technique because it gives them control. For those who are very visual, it gives them a way to like actually see what's going on and a way to talk to it. And then we process it and it processes and it will process completely. And I'll just be like, are there any other remnants? And if there are, I have them take it out. But this works really, really well in a foot zone. But once again, I do recommend about um, like 10, 10 to 15, 10 to 20 minutes for this, especially if there's more than one emotion. So you do want to like not leave that to the very end. You want to leave your client on a very high note so that they leave feeling great and they leave feeling amazing, not feeling the heaviness of the emotions of what we just processed.